This other point, I want you to grasp this. Forgiveness is forgiveness and trust are not synonymous. I want to share that a little bit more or focus on that just a little bit. Let me say it one more time. Forgiveness and trust is not synonymous. In other words, I can forgive you, but I don't trust you. Oh, some, some of y'all said, I, I, let me say it one more time, because some of y'all, oh yeah, I, I forgave you, I released you. I don't trust you. Oh man, sister's getting happy on that. Yeah, 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 I don't trust him, brother. Yeah, I don't trust him. Don't trust him. No, I don't trust him. I got to break this down, folks. <laughs> because some of y'all got too happy on that. <laughs> Trust is earned. Forgiveness is something you might, you, you, you have, it means I release you of the debt that you've caused. Now, if, if uh, we, when we were um, beginning ministry some 16, 17 years ago, we had services in our house, and uh, a few folks, the first time, you know, it was a good thing, and people fellowship and everything. And as it grew, it was people coming from off the streets and everything, and, um, and we had an intermission, and uh, one guy, was, he, he was gone for a while, and, you know, and by the time he came back, we were wondering where he was. By the time he came back, you know, we said, oh, yeah, okay, we are just wondering everything. And everybody left, God bless you, and cookies and punch, and, you know, fellowship and all that. And um, a few days later, we went to, you know, get... Uh, some of the jewelry out of the box. And the jewelry wasn't in the box. The diamond was gone, and the Seiko watch was gone, and some, my ring, my wedding band was gone. And, and uh, I was like saying, whoa, I, it couldn't have been the rapture, you know. You know, we're still here. And I'm thinking like, you know, what, what, what could have happened? I was like, said, well, somebody, nobody kicked the door in. We'd be in there thinking. It was, oh, dude was here. And uh, that's why he was gone so long. And this verified that, that someone says, man, I, uh, so-and-so was selling some jewelry. And uh, I, I really I said, man, you should have bought my stuff. I would have paid you back. But, uh, but at any rate, <laughs> but at any rate, we didn't stop having church at the house. So what did you do? I had to. <laughs> I had to say, well, yeah, man, I forgive you, and I forgive you, and you know, no problem, I forgive you, but I'm gotta, I gotta watch you though now. You know, I have to weigh you when you come in, and wait. No, 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 I, I didn't say exactly that. But, 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 but I said, I said, I've gotta watch you now because even though I've forgiven you and I've released you of that debt, I'm not putting myself in that same position to be hurt again. I want you to know that forgiveness and trust is totally different. If a child molester comes to this church and he says, I want you to forgive me, forgive me, and we forgive him, and he cries and, and does a whole thing and says a prayer, and I really believe God has forgiven him, we're not putting him over children's church. I know some of y'all don't like that, but that's all right. We forgive you, but we don't trust you automatically. Hallelujah. <laughs> this next one is this. In, in fact, truth be known is you wouldn't want me to put him over children's church. You wouldn't want me to. The next is this, is that forgiveness is how we show our love for one another. And when we go to a scripture as it relates to that, I, I believe it'll bless you, it bless me. That's how we show our love one to another. Not just saying, well, I love you, and just hugging everybody, you know, during intermission, you know, because that's one thing, but if you don't forgive them, you know, you really, that's really the way that you show that you love them. Are you with me today? You know, this is very important because some people thought that their salvation was in jeopardy. Your salvation is not in jeopardy or at risk. It is not. So therefore, you can still hold unforgiveness and grudges, and you can still make it to heaven. I believe that based upon the scripture that I've read. Now, let me also share this. But what will be at risk? Your health will be at risk. Your peace of mind will be at risk. Your peace in your heart will be at risk. Your victory will be at risk. Your freedom will be at risk. I remember the time, and some three years ago, 
that when I um, was challenged at this particular service and people came in the facility, and uh, man, that, that bothered me. I don't know if you all have ever seen Jerry Wayne that hot, but I was hot. And they put the mic in front of my face, and I said what was on my mind. And I believed every word of it. But God, I said, God, well, that was wrong, da, 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 da. And, and, and whether you're right or wrong is not the issue per se. Your heart has to be right. And if you are angry and upset and, uh, and holding bitterness and unforgiveness against anybody, it's not a matter of you being right. It's a matter of it not being right, you having unforgiveness in your heart. God dealt with me about that. Ooh, glory, glory, glory. In the middle of it, man, I had, to, I had a surgery going on and I had pains over here. I believe that some of your blood pressure will be lowered when you all start forgiving people. I believe that the very cancer that they pronounce over your life will be removed from your life when you begin to walk in forgiveness. I believe you will receive promotions when you be, I just believe it. I believe that money will come to you when you begin to walk in forgiveness. But who wants to give money to somebody that's meaner than a junkyard dog? I worked through the process. My uncle was killed by some fellow officers in Mississippi, I was a little boy when it happened, but he was my favorite uncle. Bothered me, bothered me just badly. And I grew up with bitterness and anger as it relates to that. And it wasn't till, and, and certain things that would happen that would touch that sensitive area. And I don't know if you've had an area that, that was in your life and every now and then somebody would touch you and say, oh, that thing is still alive. You know, and you start reaching for your, your stuff. But there's a situation that, that God says, no, son, in order for you to move to the next level, you've got to walk in forgiveness. As it relates to my mom, I had some unforgiveness against her. And it wasn't until I forgave her and she laid her hands on me and blessed me that the ministry began to go to the next level. I want you all to know God does not want you to operate in unforgiveness. Release your, fa release your family. Release your friends. Come on, give God a praise in the house and don't just give him a pity pat.